This was her room, and I am sure it was her room because of the angle of the, of the ceiling, which, that will be pleased, is where she had her bed. And this is what it looks like. Uh, it all came about because when I was a baby, evidently I pulled blankets over my head, and my mother said that, you know, she would creep into the room to make sure I was still breathing, and, and so she said, Fred, can't you do something? And of course, my father, always loving to solve problems, said, oh yeah, sure I can, and he built this. <coughs> my father was very proud of it, and he sent an article off to the Ladies' Home Journal. You've got to watch out when you deal with the press. They used the wrong picture. <laughs> this, he had made sort of a, a, a sample one for maybe for traveling or something. I don't know what this was for, but it was not the right one. And they were the ones that named it Baby in a Box, which, as Brett said, doesn't sound too good. So I thought I would show you what they further said, Debbie Skinner has lived in a soundproof, <laughs> dirt-proof box since birth. And then you know, it doesn't sound very good. It, it caused a lot of furor, enough so that there was a, a movie made that was uh, shown in movie theaters. You don't remember, but in the days before TV and video and all that kind of stuff, people went to the movies a lot more, and they had little news items first. So I took the sound out so I could tell you my story about this. That's my mother, and um, Deborah is being put down for a nap. You can see she's not at all unhappy about it. <laughs> <laughs> so wake up, Deborah. Wake up. Oh, it's Dewey! <laughs> My father is there. He is adjusting the temperature. And my mother changing the surface. Of course, you take the baby out first. 